If your LED doesn't light up on the first try, don't worry because there are two very common mistakes that first time breadboard users make that are easy to fix. So for example here, if I press the arrow key, you can hear the meow sound, but the LED doesn't light up. This indicates that my code is working, but there's something wrong with my circuit. One of the first things to check is that you didn't put your LED in the breadboard backwards. Remember that an LED has one longer leg and one shorter leg. If your LED doesn't light up, the first thing you should try doing is just picking it up out of the breadboard and flipping it around so the legs go in the opposite holes from where they were before. Now, when I press the key, the LED lights up as well. Another very common mistake that you need to watch out for is having a jumper wire or another part off by just one row on the breadboard. So you can see there, I moved my jumper wire down from row 20 to row 21. Now when I press the key, the LED no longer lights up. If you read the tip about breadboards, you'll know that this is because Holes are electrically connected in each partial row of the breadboard. So this half row, those five holes are connected. And in this half row, these five holes are connected. But holes in adjacent rows are not connected. So row 20 is not connected to row 21. So if you just look at a glance, it might look like this jumper wire is in the right row. But if you look very closely, you'll see that the LED is actually in row 20 and the jumper wire is in row 21. So this goes for all of your components for your entire circuit. You have to make sure, for example, that this end of the jumper wire is connected to the right GPIO pin, then that this end is in the same row as the LED, the resistor is connected to the LED, and then finally that this jumper wire goes back to the ground pin. If any one of those connections is off by just one row, that will break the circuit and prevent current from flowing and stop the LED from lighting up. So here, to get things working again, all I have to do is take my jumper wire and put it back in row 20, which is the same row as the LED.